Welcome to another video. And today we're going to talk about how to recreate a Hollywood shot or any kind of shot you like. Um, how to read it, to know where to put the light and what kind of light you need. And for those who don't know me, I'm Roman and on my channel I talk about no to low budget filmmaking. To choose a frame, I like to use Shot Deck. Um, disclaimer, they don't pay me to say that because they don't. I purchased the subscription all by myself and I took part in the Shot Deck challenge last year. So um, it is just an easy tool to find something to work on like to practice your lighting technique in this video i'm trying a lot of recreations in a sense of inspirational and trying to get as close as possible to the original ones for instance let's take this frame right here i found this picture here on instagram it is from ahmed Esam. i hope i said it right sorry if not um, i link him down below it is a crazy wide angle shot backlit i do love backlight so as you can see here it's just i don't know i like it i like wide angle backlit shots <laughs> i don't want to bother you with my preferences so let's get right into the next recreation and i talk about recreations i already did and one i especially filmed for this video with all the problems and challenges Let's get right into the next one. Next frame. So what you see now is um, inspired by the social network. This frame right here, this is exactly this picture. So this frame from, uh, I got this from Shot Deck. Like I said, um, this is uh, Jesse playing uh, Mark Zuckerberg. And on this camera, you see the setup, the whole setup. I got the um, uh, uh, an LED tube above me to give me this kicker light. Then I do have the Falcon Eye LED panel in front of me. Um, I also have the Anglerfish iFolish Anglerfish 220DN uh, outside that I am controlling with the app. You see, on off, on off. This is giving me a little bit more depth of field. I bounce the light into the um, seat here, into the ceiling of the balcony. I tape, gaffer tape onto my windows to give it this American look. I don't know if it's typical American, but to give me this, the same kind of window uh, you can see here next to Jesse. And that's it. That's all you need for <laughs> the social network a david fincher film it's just easy to recreate a david fincher film. <laughs> nah it's not getting as close as i would want it to but let's say it like this this is a great way of practicing lighting different kind of recreations in your youtube videos i mean yes it is um a lot of work a big commitment to do it like this but yeah how else do you want to work out so let's get into how to read frame to recreate it. Um, here is the frame that I am struggling with. Let me explain. So first things that I look at, especially when I see a person in a frame, is the nose. It sticks out and it gives you um, a great shadow that um, tells you where the light is. Uh, here you see a pretty soft edge of the shadow on the nose and it comes a little bit from above just a little bit uh, you see it because the nose shadow goes to the side and a little bit underneath the nose if you look at my shadow my nose shadow now um, you see it is to the side and it is not underneath my nose so the light is in front of me as you can see in my glasses and on this camera, it ends, the bottom of the light ends the same height of my, my mouth, I think. So that's why the light is coming underneath my nose. Here you see it's underneath and you can also see it in his eyes, which is the next spot to look at. Can you see the light in his eyes or in a reflection like my glasses? Then you, you read the face. Um, 
here you see the harsh light on the side and it falls into a really soft light that wraps around the whole face and gives it a nice shadow on the other side. A nice little kicker light, same like you see somewhere. You see, there's my kicker light now. It's settled. Now I'm gonna show you my recreation of it. So I do have the soft light that wraps around. I am missing the harsh light on my face. So in this case, I use the same light that I'm using here, the LED panel from Falcon Eye, uh, which gave me this soft light you see underneath my nose. I hit the same nose shadow. Um, I do have two lights you see here on this uh, eye, in my eye, reflecting. Um, same here in Euphoria. Mine is not as strong, but um, yeah, I str I'm struggling with this edge light on this side, um, the, the harsh one. But I'm gonna figure it out. Now let me show you uh, on the whole setup. In front of me I had this black curtain wrapped around me, uh, which stopped the light coming in from uh, no, then outside I had the Rollos, we do have Rollos in Germany, all the way down, so no daylight came in, but um, they have this light grayish uh, color, so it would have reflected the light that is coming from behind me, which was the iFootage Anglerfish 320BN, to light the whole kitchen uh, behind me. Then. You do need black trash bags, um, they come so in handy. I had the trash bag tape uh, to the ceiling above me and to the side, negative fill. And with the trash bags I cut the light that coming from the uh, kitchen behind me. I folded it and then I taped it uh, to it so it would stop the light coming into the room, uh, which was a huge pain in the... Then I used the LED panel. Like I said, half and half, half grit, half just diffusion, um, and that made it a little bit easier. Next to it I had the light tube to give me a little bit more harsh light here you see on, on my yeah, forehead. Uh, so it didn't work uh, the way I wanted it. Uh, in the background you see another uh, light, this is the uh, C4 from Anglerfish with some diffusion. Um, there are so many details in a frame um, that you have to see and try to recreate to come as close as possible. To sum it up, first thing you do um, is to look at the nose, especially the shadow. It gives you um, the position of the light. Then you can decide going for the eyes to try to figure out where the lights are. You know, there are more than just one light, probably always more than just one. Then you look at the face, the roll off. If you have a harsh light like this and soft light, probably you do have at least two lights or a pretty strong light uh, in the background. Then you go uh, for the shadow. Um, do you have to yeah, give it a lot of negative fill? Oh, the kicker light. Look, always look for the kicker light. <laughs> Is there a kicker light or just a negative fill? Um, does the light hit the couch, the background, is something lit there or give, does it give it a kick? And then you go for things like the clothes, uh, what's in the background, after the face. Just read the face first and then go into um, the whole set. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. This lighting tutorial by doing recreations. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up, a comment below, that would be nice, and subscribe to the channel. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace. Hi, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to recreate...